Hello, everybody. My name is Alexander Therns van Rijn. I'm the secretary of the consultative committee at the Universal Postal Union. Um, and next to me, uh, I have uh, Walter Trezek, who is the chair of the consultative committee. Uh, Walter Trezek, maybe one or two words to introduce yourself. Thank you very much, Alexander. Um, I'm here on behalf of e-commerce Europe um, because e-commerce Europe asked me to run for the chairmanship and um, I got re-elected um, earlier this year. The Consultative Committee is uh, the body um, of the union to represent the wider stakeholders. And a major decision had been taken about a year ago at the Abidjan Congress to use the Consultative Committee to open up to the wider sector players. So this is something very interesting, uh, and as a matter of fact, something will happen on 1st July, which is actually marking a major milestone in our history. What Ab is that? Absolutely, absolutely, because there will be um, a major change uh, in the union. The change is that the Consultative Committee changes from a consensual body, where all the different parts of the union had been represented, so the designated operators, the governments, the regulators, and the private sector, to a very focused committee only for the private sector. And that's very, very important because it will be used to help the union to focus on all those ongoing developments, digitalization, opening up of the union to the whole of the sector, not only the designated operators, but also the ongoing big things happening in the background, the big storm coming, inflation and what have you. So if our future members would like to have more information about the structure, they can go online uh, uh, on the Consultative Committee webpage and, and, and dig into that and get more information. I'd like to move on to maybe talk about some of the benefits for uh, Consultative Committee members, private companies, but also non-governmental organizations. What can you say about that? Well, the union is already the body shaping the future of the whole postal sector. And uh, the union went through, uh, through a, a very strong uh, move forward um, to shape digitalization on, of the postal environment. This is very, very important because uh, during the last Congress, the Ab Abidjan strategy, um, it made it very clear that the union um, had its first digital strategy implemented. So everything turns digital. And the wider sector, therefore, is highly important because they are shaping it together with the union. And the consultative committee will be the body um, to facilitate that. All right. So again, more information is available on the web page. Um, could we maybe just talk about um, why do you think that private companies who previously were not allowed to be members and now as a 1st of July can actually apply to become uh, a fully fledged member of, of the uh, consultative committee, why should they apply and what different options do they have to actually collaborate and, uh, and, and, and add value to the work of the union? Again, digitalization facilitates partnership. None of the big companies, even the largest postal operators currently represented here at the Union, can do it by itself. They need partners, and the partners are the private sector suppliers to the industry. And it is therefore a very clear step decided by the 192 member countries to get them involved. Because all these IT companies, addressing companies, unions, manufacturers of hardware, transport and logistic companies, um, they, all, they all contribute already, but now they have the possibility to start developing all these future activities directly via the Consultative Committee. This is great. So if I'm a private company, I become a member of the consultative committee, I will actually be able to meet all these uh, stakeholders and these uh, postal operators uh, in this house, in this building, uh, and uh, actually uh, promote our activities, my technology, or anything alike. That's one point why the private sector players are so very interested um, in a direct communication and dialogue. But it is also about the interconnectivity integration into the existing global IT backbone of the UPU. Okay. People sometimes forget, of course, that the UPU is the only special organization of the United Nations 
that provides such an infrastructure for communication on each and every postal matter. I think we have provided you with some very interesting information and I invite you all to go on the UPU Consultative webpage to get more information about it. And don't hesitate, you can contact me or Walter Trezek directly. Thank you very much and welcome on board.